In his time, Lord Simon protected the Roselle who fled Hyzant, and the village they established within the Wolfort domain. Thirty years have passed since then. The Hierophant uses the illegal salt trade incident as leverage to demand those Roselle be sent to the source, where Hyzantian faith dictates they must reside. After being found guilty at the trial, Serenoa has no other choice but to acquiesce. Thus, with House End ruined and a vacant position among the saintly seven to be filled, rumors of House Wolfort's ascendancy start sounding more credible than ever to the people of Hyzant. Lord Saranoa, I believe it may be in our best interest to turn over the Roselle after all. But they fought so hard to escape, Hyzant. They would never agree to return. It would be a show of good faith to the Saintly Seven and secure House Wolfort's safety. If the situation calls for force, well, we must be prepared, to borrow Minister Exham's words. I... I see. Give me time to think over the matter. Where is Frederica? Oh, she... She left for the source with Prince Roland. She said she wanted to see where the Roselle lived for herself. Ah. Indeed, Byzantine law requires all Roselle to make their home at the source. She is most troubled over this, Lord Saranoa. Please, if you could... I understand. I will make for the source at once. Silvio Tellior, I presume? Who might you be? Someone who brings good tidings. An offer you may wish to consider. I am ruined. Who would want to offer me anything? It is Minister Edor's wish. Will you hear me out? One of the saintly seven? Then you are Hyzantian. My master is eager for your assistance, as you are quite close to House Woolfort. Thalus, thank you for making the necessary arrangements. No need to thank me. I am your Prime Minister, after all. I have made sure those with any power in Glenbrook understand their place. They will do as we command. Then everything is in place. It is time. Is there nothing I might do to aid you, brother? If there were, I would tell you. Hmm. And the Consortium, Thalos? Oh, I expect we shan't have any trouble from them. I have promised them a considerable sum to stay out of our way. Good. Now it is just a waiting game. I wonder how long the Hyzantians will last. Please, I'd only like to glimpse the goddess's sacred grounds for myself. 
It won't take but a moment. That may be, but outsiders are not permitted into the Source for such frivolities. And you are Rizelin. You ought to understand the teachings better than anyone. <sighs> Frederica. Saranoa, forgive my impulsive behavior. There's nothing to forgive. I too wish to learn more of the Roselle and Heizet. Not knowing would make my decision easier, but still I feel I must. Saranoa? From House Walfort? The very same. Lord Saranoa Walfort. The one who will assume control of the salt trade in short order, as House End once did. To that end, we are here today for a preliminary inspection of the grounds. So the rumors were true. Well, are you refusing the newest addition to the Saintly Seven entry into the source? Uh, of course not. Please, right this way. All right, you Rosellan wretches, time for worship. Minister Edor of the Saintly Seven himself will be giving the sermon today. You should be thankful. Heed his word, and your sins shall be cleansed. Roselle, do you know why you are imprisoned at the Source, condemned to toil? It is because your ancestors committed the most heinous of sins. Long, long ago, they schemed to seize control of the salt that the Goddess bequeathed to the people of Nozelia. They seized the Source for themselves, wresting every last grain of salt from other peoples desperate for the resource. Using the salt they hoarded as a shield, they terrorized the land, destroying any who stood against them in their thirst for domination. Fanned by their greed, the flames of war long ravaged our land. Countless innocents lost their lives. What a terrible, arrogant people. Their cursed souls dwell within you, their progeny to this very day. Indeed, the proof is in the very color of your hair, the same red as the blood that flowed from their countless victims. Our people sinned against the goddess. We are a detestable blight upon Norzelia. Oh, goddess of salt, please, forgive us our sins. Forgive us. Do not despair for the Goddess of Salt is ever merciful and kind. She grants even the worst of sinners, even you, a chance to atone. That atonement will only come through hard work here at the Source. By quenching this earth with your sweat, by giving your lives to this labor, your cursed souls will be cleansed and welcomed back to the Goddess's side. Only then, when your sins have been washed away, can you hope to be reborn into a pure body and once again walk upon Norzelia. People of the Roselle, surrender your lives to the Source and give your thanks to the Great Goddess. O oh, Goddess of Salt, for you I give myself. Stained with sin as I am, to the Source. 
Thank you for granting us the chance to atone. Thank you. Thank you. That is enough. Now take that gratitude and turn it toward your work. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is atonement? And the Rizal accept it as a fitting punishment? Even if that story Edor told is true, no sin warrants this kind of cruel retribution. Hyzant maintains control over Salt now. Are they then not guilty of the same crime? You are right. But this is as the Goddess of Salt commands, is it not? Never stop learning. I hope I did not disappoint. Might I be of service?
There is no mercy on us. Me too!
force them into a... This is more awful than I imagined. Will you still send any Roselle in the Wolfort Domain here? Force them into a life like this? I... <sighs> it isn't right. It isn't just. I don't care that it would ensure our own safety. Indeed. It would be unforgivable. What is just is constantly in flux depending on the circumstances. That said, protecting people is always the right thing to do. Wouldn't you agree, Saranoa? I feel the same as you both, but... <sighs> My apologies. I didn't mean to place all the blame on you. Still, we... We continue stumbling on the path before us. Saranoa and his retinue return to their domain, their every step weighed down by the heavy task Hyzant has placed upon them. Elsewhere, the newly restored kingdom of Glenbrook begins to take action under Queen Cordelia's leadership. The kingdom issues a joint proclamation with Esfrost against Hyzant, halting all trade and severing diplomatic ties with the Holy State. Hail and well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? The very same, and in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most happy to share with the consortium, that it might prove to our mutual benefit. Oh, a fellow man with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects, yes? Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power, unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has in fact created an elixir that offers everlasting youth? I would be intrigued, and then I'd ask you how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think. Why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. My lord is no exception. What are you saying? That those you serve have procured this miracle drug? Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say, and privy to their secret conversations. He also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of, for the right price. A price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Demand has proven so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the noble's trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. 
Let me see the goods. <laughs> that makes ten who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all the better for Lionel. And are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? Oh, you! How long have you been there? Since the morning, on Benedict's orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However, you may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort requires the utmost concentration, and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction. That tome is an apprentice's resource, if I'm not mistaken. Are you studying ironworking? Yes. I borrowed it some time ago from the archives in the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I haven't had a chance to return it, what with the state of affairs being as it is. Ian's. I can't remember the last time you privileged us with a visit. Well, my weapons aren't going to forge themselves. But now that I have a respite from my days of sweat and flame, I thought I'd continue my studies. You hunger for knowledge the way a fire hungers for kindling. I'd never have become the blacksmith I am if not for what I gleaned from these tomes. If it takes a lifetime of studying and striving to forge the perfect weapon, then so be it. One day, all will know the name of Ian's, the greatest smithy the realm has ever seen! That is all well and good, but would you mind proclaiming that a little more quietly? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, apologies. In my excitement, I quite forgot I was in a library. I must say, I can't help but admire your burning ambition. But, while we're speaking in hushed tones, our army has been anything but quiet as of late. You forge weapons for them, yes? Might you have any insight into the matter? I wish I did, but I have scant time for the goings-on outside my own small forge. Though, now that you mention it, my orders from the army have increased. Could it be that they're preparing for war? <laughs> As if a war could break out on the eve of our three nations' grand new venture. Indeed. That would be unthinkable. S. Frost's sudden attack on Glenbrook confirmed my worst fears. And once the war started, I could forget about returning this book. But I still hope to. One day, when peace has returned to our realm. I hope you will fight by my side till it does. Without hesitation, my lord.
Esfrost and Glenbrook signed an agreement denouncing Hyzant. Word only just arrived, and it is no mere rumor. They've issued a formal proclamation. Preposterous! Gustadolf must have forced Cordelia's hand. This is sure to make Hyzant see salt shipments to the Consortium. All this denouncement will do is hamstring Esfrost and Glenbrook both. My brother, Gustadolf does not fight battles he cannot win. I'm certain this is part of some greater ploy. I feel all of Norzelia stands on the precipice. But of what, I cannot say. Each nation is making its move. We too must take action to secure our position before it's too late. By which you mean expelling the Roselle? To protect the Wolfort domain and its people. No one would dare hold such actions against you. Lord Serenoa, you must make a decision. <sighs> I saw what it is truly like at the source. The Rosellen are forced into back-breaking labor. No decent man would condemn another to such a fate. But if we refuse the Hierophant, we will face the same dire consequences as House End. Should that happen, the Roselle would still be lost, would they not? Then you think it is right to sacrifice the Roselle to save Wolfort? No one is saying it is right, but a decision must be made. We must prioritize our own survival. That much should be clear. And survive we shall, if we can secure Hyzant's aid. Unless... <clears throat> Saranoa, I beseech you, not as one with Roselle blood in her veins, but as a person, as a Wolfort, you cannot give up the Roselle to Hyzant. I appreciate each of your arguments. But we cannot debate this forever. It is time to decide. Once more to the scales of conviction. We must decide. Perhaps. Certainly not. Hmm. I am decided. Lord Saranoa. Perhaps. If so... Indeed. I must hear what the others think. I... And... What do you need? Huh? 
I require some time to think. It is time to cast our votes. We face a difficult decision. Do we surrender the Roselle living in our domain to Hyzant, or do we defy their orders? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You make a convincing argument, my lord. I agree wholeheartedly. You have my vote. I have faith in you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. The Roselle are our people. We must shelter them even if it earns us Hyzant's ire. I suspected it would come to this. We have chosen our path and now we must see it through. <sighs> We will refuse to hand over the Roselle to Hyzant. Saranoa and company move to protect the Rosellan settlement. Noble as it may be, such an act of defiance toward Hyzant risks inviting the destruction of House Wolfort itself. Hyzant will no doubt wish to ask questions of us. We can draw out the negotiations and buy some time. Time enough to find a way to break them. We have to inform the Roselle of the situation here. I'll send an envoy and have them sheltered in Castle Woolfort. Lord Saranoa, come at once. An army marches on the Rosellan village. You can't be serious. Whose banner do they fly? We know not. And it matters not. We ride to their aid. Prepare for battle. Why? Why attack our village? Hierophant's orders were to return you to Hyzan. Ha! <laughs> Over my dead body! Come quietly and you'll live. Keep struggling and I'll slaughter you right here. What'll it be? I'll never submit to the likes of you. Cease your assault at once. Lord Saranoa. Well, well. Tell me, Saranoa. What do you hope to gain by protecting the Roselle? How about you tell us what you're doing here, Silvio? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
Mind your manners, Eridor. I stand before you as an emissary of the Saintly Seven. So Hyzant owns you, is that it? In so many words, yes. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some Roselle to repatriate. You'll do no such thing. House Wolford shall protect these people. So, you admit your betrayal of Hyzant. Get these traitors out of my sight, Rufus. Kill every last one if you must. I wouldn't even spare them if you asked. Stand back, everyone. Allow me to stay and fight for our freedom. Very well, but keep your wits about you. You fail to understand the situation in which you find yourselves. Without our king, we are but dust, scattered to the wind. What can you lot alone hope to accomplish by fighting Hyzant? House Wolfort will not sacrifice its subjects for some narrow vision of the future. If history judges us poorly for having done so, then so be it. Our consciences shall be cleaner for having fought to the death alongside our Roselland brethren. Your pride and ideals cannot shield you from your fate! Kill them all! Let us pry out their wounds. It is time to do my best. My turn. Just you wait. I will see you on the other side of this, Jerome. So long as I breathe, Hyzant will never touch our kin. I know what's at stake. On my honor as a Rosellan, I shall not lose. This battle is ours. For the honor of House Wolfort. Prepare to die. You'll be fun to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you on. Show me what you're made of. Looks like I'm up. It's nothing personal. Shall we begin? Make the most of this. I shall do my best. My growth is plain to see. I fight for peace. For a better world. Where was I? Come on! 
to further the arcane arts. I shall try my level best. This will serve well. You see what's at stake. Show them what you're capable of. Stop! <laughs> that was easy. Too obvious. Ha! Who's next? Why so scared? Ah. Defeat is not an option. Just you wait. This battle is ours. show you what I've learned. Blaine, <laughs> heed my call! Ah, I'll take you on! <laughs> I shall try my level best. Let us heal our defenses. Let me heal your wounds. Go time. time for some research. <gasps> You're quite the challenge. This isn't worth the coin. is grim. Allow me. You 
have my thanks. Victory is mine! Perfect. Back at you! Uh. I'll take you on! Look to my shield! I love the battlefield. My turn. This is where you fall! The situation is grim. Need this. Looks like I'm up. Oh no! This isn't good. Never underestimate a Roselle. Time to take flight. I will end this. I feel stronger already. Suffer! Ah! Victory is within reach! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Do that seem to work? Uh, what a obvious. gift! Prepare to die! You will not leave you with your lives! Allow me. We'll protect you. We mustn't lose heart. Allow me. Much better. My turn. It ends here. Time for some research. Ha! Huh. Defeat is not an option. I'll make this quick. Ha ha! No need to panic. How fortuitous! Here I come. I will end this. Victory is within reach. Strike. Is all hope lost? Let us pry out their weakness. We must move fast. Prepare to die! Die! No! <laughs> My turn! <laughs> that did it! Let me show you what I've learned. This isn't good. Your wounds are good. But where shall we strike? Perry! Your luck has run out! Now then, to work. I do not miss. No 
need to panic. My turn. This will hurt. Here I come. This isn't good. I shall try my level best. This should do. This cannot be. You will not leave here with your lives. <laughs> that did it. Allow me. Let us work together for a better world. Now then, to work. Most interesting. Where shall we strike? I'll make this quick. Shall we begin? Be at ease. Allow me. My turn. You left yourself open. Today is not the day I die! I beg you, would you truly kill me, your ally, just to protect the Roselle? The Roselle are a tainted people. Your efforts shall bear no fruit. How dare you insult my people! Ah! How could you?! I lose too many employers this way. I'd best make myself scarce. As if we'd let you get away. Word of this can't get out. Too late. Silvio sent word of your betrayal eons ago. Expect Hyzant's army on the morrow. They'll finish the job then. And so, we've bought no time at all. Lord Saranoa, I cannot thank you enough for coming to our aid. Allow us to show our gratitude with a feast. I'm afraid we haven't the time for such levity. We must tend to the wounded, of course. But fight or flee, surely we have time enough to catch our breath and fill our stomachs. Let us not spurn their kindness. The young lord's right. Steal that belly of yours. Hmm. What are you doing here, dear Roland? Jerome is a young man of formidable convictions. Indeed. He took the fate of his people in his hands and fought for their freedom. Just as you have done. I did what any lord would do to protect the sovereignty of their land, nothing more. I will not see the Roselle stripped of their humanity and treated as objects. Hyzant's goddess has always seen them as such. History has ever seen the strong rule the weak, but that does not mean it must always be so. I do not mean to excuse it. 
Rather, I see now that this village and all of House Wolfort suffers because of the royal family's impotence. That's not... I speak the truth, and you know it. Cordelia and the people of Glenbrook cry for aid as we speak. Yet here I sit, cowering behind a mask and a false name. Who dare call me a leader? <laughs>